Hi guys, welcome to one of my um, product review channels. Um, you're going to laugh at this. Um, starting off, um, I've just spent 12 minutes babbling on away at this uh, 12 channel uh, receiver, uh, power safe, um, without having my um, video recording. Um, it was just clicked onto photo, so um, that's a bit, of, a bit silly of me really. Um, but this product review, um, it's a Spectrum 12 channel, it's an AR12310T. Now I guess the 12 stands for 12 channel, the T stands for telemetry, the 310, I haven't got a clue what it stands for. Um, but if you want to know, I'm sure if you write me a uh, write me a question, I will write to um, Spectrum myself and find out for you. Um, the unit itself is pretty neat and um, basically you've got uh, pretty much standard. Um, you've got the um, uh, binding, binding switch just there where my finger is. You can hear it clicking. And also here, um, it's got all your 12 channels all along here. And also along here, you've got um, where it says uh, B stands for back, left stands for, uh, L stands for left, and R stands for right. And all that is for your satellite uh, units. And the unit itself is pretty neat. Uh, you basically screw these onto a grommet and it fits quite nicely. And it takes a dual uh, battery pack for the pure reason being, if one did fail or one has a power surge, uh, your receiver will basically have a transition of uh, uh, shifting into uh, another pack without um, without losing any kind of uh, control surfaces movements or without you even noticing um, the shifting of the power or the voltage drop but what you will know what will uh, what you will notice is when you land it, it, it will have a blue light to say yes uh, you, you may have had a power surge or power failed um, so that's quite good, quite good feature. Um, you also get this uh, bag of bits, um, which um, they come with um, the little plug that it, you can actually solder onto the uh, battery pack. Um, also, I will be doing another product review, um, which is a very unconventional uh, away from uh, the RC uh, uh product review uh which um i feel as though it's a must have um if you are going for electric it's um basically it's a t12 soldering station um the t12 the tips are absolutely brilliant to change you've got so many different tips you can you can buy and i will be doing that uh, product review tomorrow um it's most annoying when your battery just goes on to a, a low flat back. Um, also, um, the T12 station, um, I feel as though it's a must have because um, it just gets the job done really quick, really easy, makes life a lot easier, especially if you're soldering um, uh, XT90s uh, because they do take a lot of heat. And I've used the Weller uh, guns, um, which, again, they're supposed to be able to provide the heat, uh, but nowhere near as good as the um, T12 uh, uh, soldering station. But I will show you that tomorrow uh, on one of my videos. And once I've shown it you and shown you all the tips, I no doubt you will go out and invest your money in it. Uh, I'm not pushing for the product. This is only for uh, entertainment purpose, uh, only for myself. What works for me may not work for yourself. Um, so um, this is just the stuff 
I do for myself and hopefully with the information that I get across to you guys uh, it may save you money and it may um, make you think of another avenue you may be able to turn to and save your money that way but here we go guys um, nice and sweet short video and um, as I say I love this uh, uh, 12, uh, 12 channels um, receiver it's a really really neat uh, neat receiver it's not cheap um, they do also a uh, 20 channels but I just feel as though I'm never ever going to use a 20 channel uh, receiver um, but these I think they are running at somewhere in the region of 100 and 80 quid um, so it's not something you buy every day but it is something that you may have in your uh, flight box just as a one-off sort of thing and and it works and when it lights up uh, it's brilliant also on here as you can see it's got the um, uh, RPM uh, you can see just there RPM and also uh, it's got the temperature um, send uh, pe temperature pickup sender unit um, it's got loads of other bits and bobs um, comes with a destruction manual um, I don't tend to read these um, whatever I want to know I research it on the internet or on YouTube I don't know of anybody actually read through one of these booklet yet. Um, it comes with multi languages, English, uh, German, Deutsch, whatever you want. Um, it, it's there. But how I normally go about finding things out is if all fails, YouTube and also um, on the internet. And if you like what I do, guys, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll say goodnight for now and see you tomorrow with the uh, unboxing of the new NG. Good night.